Sean Farnham here with North Carolina State head coach Mark Goffrey and coach you do an excellent job understanding exactly the skill sets that your players have and then putting them in the right situation to excel and you're going to show us one of those plays. Well we are and I think that's part of coaching is trying to get your best players uh, to play to their best of their ability and what we'd like to do right here is we're going to try to get a shot for this wing player. I put two post players, two wing players, and a point guard is how we like to play. And we want to get this guy a jump shot right here. Last year, that was Scott, Fo Scott Wood. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to clear this opposite wing, and we're going to bring him to the ball side. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to clear out all the weak side help on this side, opposite side of the floor. As the point guard enters the ball to our post right here at the elbow, we like our point guard to rub off uh, this high post player and we're going to now send our shooter right off of his back into the middle of the lane. Point guard is now going to step out and we're going to catch the pass. And as we do, I want both post players to come towards the foul line. And if we've got any kind of space right here, Sean, I want our shooter to try to fill through this little hole right here. It's almost like closing the gate. It's the old close the gate play. And we're going to get our jump shot, our shooter jump shot at the top of the key. All right, let's take a look at how that actually transpired and went through on the court. Well, a couple things you can see. We take T.J. Warren. It's very important, first of all, for T.J. Warren to come to this side of the floor. And he's clearing out any opportunity for Virginia to switch or send a runner up to the shooter at the top of the key. Very important right here. Our point guard has entered the ball. Our point guard has now come behind this player. And we want this rub action right here to create some type of either a switch or just to get some space. Joe Harris here trying to guard Scott Wood. And Scott does a great job. And now we've got space between the defender and the offensive player. And as this space is created, we want Scott Wood or our shooter to come through the gate. Both post players are screening for a jump shot there at the top of the key. An excellent job and great execution. Obviously, Scott Wood was a gutter from the outside, could knock it down with great consistency. This year, who do you envision being in that role? Well, last year we called this play 15. Scott Wood just happened to wear number 15. This year it might be called 24 because T.J. Warren might be that guy. I tell you what, T.J. Warren <laughs> likes to shoot the ball and he can fill it up 62% from the field a year ago.